Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 100th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, and before we get into the news for this episode, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support throughout 100 episodes of this series, Best Tech Info and Rumors. Again, I really do appreciate your guys' viewership and the input you leave in the comments. And in celebration of 100 episodes and you guys keeping me going to this point, I just wanted to show my appreciation by giving away a new third generation iPad. So I have teamed up with the members of iPod Uplink and Jailbreak Nation, and we will be giving away again a new third generation iPad. And there are multiple ways to enter, so if you want, you can get numerous entries. So first up, the easiest things you can do are to actually subscribe, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. So I will have a link down below in the more info. It has all of the buttons embedded, so all you have to do is visit that post so you can potentially gain one entry for every account you either subscribe to, follow, or like. And then after that, all you have to do is just fill out one simple form with your account and then submit it. And again, you can potentially gain up to six entries this way. However, if you don't have a Facebook or Twitter account or you don't even want to enter anything like that, you can go to either one of our channels and then go to our videos. And then from there, you can simply like the video and then leave a comment down below in the comment section of the video just with the keyword 100th. So you can pretty much comment on anything. Just make sure it has that tag. So it's just the number 100 followed by TH, no spaces in between. Of course, you can enter on both new and old videos alike on both of our channels. All right, so now that we've covered that, you know how to potentially win a new free third generation iPad. Let's go ahead and get into the news. I just want to preface by saying that most everything I'll talk about in this episode will be related to the next generation iPhone and the rumors surrounding it. But first up, Apple did release a new beta firmware. They released iOS 6 beta 4, and I have a detailed post that's down below with all of the detailed features, changes, and additions to this new beta firmware. So if you're curious about iOS 6 beta 4, just be sure to check it out. And I also did a video showing you guys how to jailbreak the latest iOS 6 beta firmware. All right, now for everything related to the next generation iPhone, in this video, I'll simply be referring to it as the iPhone 5 or the next generation iPhone. Whether or not it's actually called the iPhone 5 will be up to Apple because again, this will be Apple's sixth generation iPhone. And it very well could follow suit with a third generation iPad by simply being referred to as the new iPhone. So two months ago in June, the European Telecommunications Institute actually picked a new standard for the next generation of SIM cards that being the nano sim. And boasting an overall size reduction of 40%, the nano sim will be the obvious choice for upcoming smartphones as well as cellular capable tablets as they allow for a significant reduction in size of the internal components. And the leak that's on the screen now shows the proposed iPhone 5 sim tray. Now just to the right is the current sim tray used in the iPhone 4S. And what's instantly apparent is the cutout for the sim card is significantly smaller, suggesting that the upcoming iPhone will use this new nano sim standard. However, it's interesting to note that while the cutout is overall smaller, the loading mechanism for the SIM card is only smaller as far as the width is concerned. When it comes to height, it appears to be near identical to the SIM card tray used in the iPhone 4S. Next, in the same report, alleged home buttons for the iPhone 5 were also leaked, and these appear to be different than the home buttons used on the iPhone 4S because the plastic enclosure surrounding the actual home button is different. And when you actually look at last week's hands-on video of the leaked parts, it appears that the iPhone 4S home button simply doesn't fit in the proposed front glass panel for the iPhone 5. So this newly leaked button could very well fit in the front glass panel. Next up, 9to5Mac uncovered what they believe to be the resolution for the next generation iPhone's display in the official iOS 6 simulator. So they discovered a resolution of 1136 by 640, which is definitely vertically enhanced over the iPhone 4S's resolution being 960 by 640. So the proposed resolution for the next generation iPhone is approximately 176 pixels taller than that of the iPhone 4S. Also, what's interesting is that in the side-by-side -side picture that's on the screen now, on the left we have the new 1136 by 640 resolution entered into the iOS 6 simulator and on the right we have it entered into the iOS 5.1 simulator. You'll notice that it automatically scales the home screen by adding an extra row of icons and even though it looks like on the iOS 5 side that it's actually more spacious, that is not the case. It actually just expanded it so what you see on the left side is more accurate on what you would currently see on any of the previous iPhone generations because the spacing between the icons is exactly the same. So as it turns out, Apple could have accidentally leaked the resolution of the next generation iPhone's display through their official iOS 6 simulator. 
And next up, we've all seen the leak. Supposedly, the new iPhone will have a smaller dock connector than previous generations of the iPhone, which have all featured Apple's 30-pin connector that has been the data connection and charging port of choice for various iPod generations, every iPad, and as I just mentioned, every iPhone model. Well, previous reports were claiming that the new iPhone will feature a redesigned smaller 19-pin connector port. And more recently, 9to5Mac uncovered a bit of code hidden inside of iOS 6 that has references to to a new 9-pin port. And also shortly after that, nowhere else referred back to 9to5Mac, stating that the iPhone will feature a new connector port that's similar to the new 9-pin port references they revealed. And next up, nowhere else actually got their hands on two different comparison charts that compares the parts between the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, and the supposed leaked iPhone 5 parts. And I went into full detail on those parts on a post that I'll have a link to down below in the more info. So if you guys want more information on that, just be sure to check it out. And of course, they also detailed a new never before seen part for the iPhone 5 and pictured in the lower left hand corner of the image that's on the display now is a black rectangle that's thought to be a screen shield for the next generation iPhone that will simply attach to the back of the display that will kind of separate it from the rest of the internal components. And finally, also leaked today was the proposed metal connector piece for a USB cable that will supposedly be bundled with the next generation iPhone. And in addition to actually showing the proposed connectors, it actually compares it to the USB side of the cable, which as many of you know is actually narrower than the current 30 pin connector. And while the report states that they can't verify the authenticity of this leak, it's certainly in line with recent rumors. And interestingly enough, as apparent in this image, the dimensions for all of the metal connector pieces seem to be slightly different. So is it possible that one of these pieces will indeed be the connector for the next generation iPhone? Or were they prototypes that have since been discarded? Of course, we will find out soon because as many of you know, Apple is rumored to hold their annual iPhone unveiling event this year on September 12th. So just be sure to stay tuned for that and complete coverage on Apple's upcoming iPhone. And of course, if you want more details on anything I discussed in this episode, as well as clarification on the giveaway, just be sure to check down below in the more info. All of the links will be there. And of course, don't forget to rate this video up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. And for the question of the day, let me know down below in the comment section or on Best Tech Info, what are your guys' opinions on all of the recent iPhone related leaks? Of course, to be updated, more often, don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me to one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.